Hello. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I got a few things I thought I'd share with you. Um, and so I'll get going on it. The first thing I wanted to share with you is this snowman uh, folio. I made this out of two cards that I got um, at Goodwill the other day. I was in there and there was a big bag of Christmas cards. And if you saw my last video, um, I show you how to take some cards and make things out of it. And so when I saw this bag of cards, I was like, oh man. I didn't know for sure if there were a lot of good cards in there or what cards were in there because they don't show you very well. But it turned out that there uh, were some pretty neat cards in there. And this I made using, there was six of these, two of two of these cards here, actually three because I, I popped it out. And they're, they're pretty good size. They had this red foil on them. And how I put this together is I opened this up and then I took this one and I folded it the other way and then turned it like this put it together and you have a folio because it's it's good size let's see it's about um, eight inches by six inches so it's a good size card and that's why it really worked out and what I did here after I, I put them together I took some plain cardstock and I covered wherever I needed to cover um, and I covered the back was just plain card um, scrapbook paper as I went. Now the these are the envelopes that came with it, which I thought was really cool. That's the flap, and that's uh, the back of it. So I used them. Here's here's the flap of the envelope. I used that as a um, tuck spot, and I'm going to take this. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to use it in a pocket. I don't know if I'm going to use it there or if I'm going to use it inside further. So let me just show you this first and everything I did and we'll go through it. Okay, what I did up here is I put felt along the, the uh, spine because I made it a quarter of an inch. I wanted it to be able to be filled up. And then I put some pretty blue um, sari silk across the top. And over here for the uh, where it says underneath the applique it has the word Mary and I put the blue um, trim on it to see if it would cover it and it wouldn't so what I did was I took some felt just a long strip of felt and I put the felt on it and then when I put the blue trim on it it covered it up really nice and then I added this wedding applique here um, and I made a, uh, a bow out of some blue netting and a snowflake. And I also have another applique, wedding applique, under there. And what I did with these guys is I just cut uh, one of these out. And I put foam tape on the back to pop it out. So there you go. I mean, easy enough. And then I opened it up and decorated it. The first thing I did was put this here um, to make a flap. And then I made a card, a journaling card, out of some old graphics that I have. I put that in there. I could have made two pockets, and I did it first, but then, I don't know. It just wasn't working out, so I said, forget it. I'm just going to make one. And I want to show you where I got this um, eyelash trim. It's from Hobby Lobby, and I got it a couple days ago. It was 30% off. They don't have a very good selection. I mean, maybe four or five different colors, which was disappointing because they used to carry a lot of it in all different colors. And that's where I got most of my eyelash trim when I did get it. Like, like this here, I'm using as an ornament, and it's just cardboard. And I melted some wax over it, like I showed you in one of my videos, and it smells just like balsam. And I melted the wax over it. And I just added this eyelash trim, but I can't, I can't tell you where to get this now because they didn't have it, which is really disappointing. So anyways, I put a journal in here, some um, pages that I just added some ruffles to. I didn't do a lot to it, 
But there was, in that uh, group of cards, there was this envelope, and this was a thank you card. And it had thank you down here at the bottom. So I cut the bottom off, and I made it into a pocket. And then I added some, I had some cute snowman graphics that I printed out and made into a couple little tags in there. And then I just clipped it to the side of the um, page. And here I have some couple of North Pole tags from the Shabby Art Boutique Club that I belong to. And it's just easy peasy. I did this very simply. And I added a bow to this paper clip. And I will show you how to do that in a few minutes. So then you just keep going. And then here's another. This was another um, card. And inside, this was, these were cards, but they were blank. And they said thank you on the bottom, so I cut them off. And I put them in there. And this was a thank you card, and it said thank you right there. And what it was, what I did, was I took some felt. Now I had a piece of felt over here to show you, because it's pretty easy to do. You can make this felt very soft by just brushing it. I brush it with this dog brush, which is really old. I've had it for a long time. And I have brushed a lot of felt with it. Here's some felt, okay. And so you can just brush it like that. And as you can see, you get some fibers moving. And if, you, if it's not enough for you, you can use a um, upholstery needle, something sharp and long. Uh, I wouldn't recommend an um, um, uh, the, the name is right on my tongue. You know, the an awl. I wouldn't recommend them because they don't seem to be, at least mine isn't sharp enough. And you just brush it, and I brush it with a toothbrush as well. So that's what I did here, is I just added felt over the word thank you. And um, I stuck it here with a paper clip. I have to watch my time because my... My camera shuts off after a certain amount of time. And so that's why I'm rushing through. And then here's another pocket on the back. And more of that trim. This was an envelope that came in that bag. And um, I cut it off and used it, put it into a journaling card. And I left the word to in case whoever I give it to, I might put their name on it. But if I change my mind, I'll just put a snowflake on there and it won't be a big deal. So I put that in there, and then this opens up. Remember, we've got three parts here. The top, the middle, and the bottom, plus a journal. So there's plenty of room here. And I added some snowflakes on the side and some vintage um, kids. And it made it into a pocket and some more vintage graphics that I had on my computer that were mine this way. And this is a, it says Merry Christmas on it. And I Velcroed it because it wouldn't stay shut and it was driving me nuts. And a uh, note can go in there. And these are my own graphics from my vintage collection of cards that I have. I know how to put graphics in a graphic program and make them printable. So that's what I did with this. And in fact, on my Etsy shop, I just put these up uh, at a couple different sizes for downloads if anybody's interested. And then, so there's the back. And what I did is I put felt on the spine to make it stronger and on this spine as well. But I want to get to some other things before my time runs out. And I didn't get to show you everything in the last video when we talked about cards. This is a card. Here's the card that I made into a journaling envelope. One of those pullouts, you know. I cut the card off and put it on the envelope. I opened up the envelope that goes with it and opened it. And then I took the inside of the card and I traced, I traced around the flap so that I could glue that on there. And there you have that. Okay. Um, and I also made some snippets with the greeting cards uh, sentiments. And here is another pocket I don't think I got to show you. And another tag from a card. 
And then I wanted to show you with this tassel, and I didn't get a chance to on the last video. My, I thought the battery died, but come to find out, my camera only uh, records for a few a certain amount of time, and then it shuts off by itself. Nice. Uh, I would have liked to known that before I spent all that money on it. But anyways, <laughs> um, these are from a Christmas card. And what I did is I took them, here's another one, another couple of them. I cut them out from the cards and then I put um, shipping tape over the top of them. Then I covered, then I turned them over and I put shipping tape on the back. Then I cut out around the, the sentiment the way I wanted to. And then I took my crocodile and I made a, a hole and I put an eyelid in it. And you can see here I made a tassel a fiber tassel and then I added some buttons to a ball pin and I added them to the tassel and I think you could do that very nicely um, like I was thinking with this folio this would even look nice hanging down here season's greetings somewhere in the in the folio I think that that'll look fine okay then I have some scented um, these I, I'm going to make into tags and ornaments this I'm going to hang on my tree and it's pink and all I did was I melted the um, wax onto strips of fabric then I cut them up and I frayed them and then I hot glued them onto this cardboard. This is another one that I just started. And then I put all the um, pieces on there. And the same, same with this and I frayed the back and they smell wonderful. They smell just like, um, what's that, what's that called? Um, balsam, they smell like balsam. Now these are just some other things I had done a while ago and and I just remembered I had done them and these could very easily be card toppers this is a card I was working on and I never finished it and I will finish it and this is one that I started and all these are, are scallops and cir scallop circles and circles with you know stickers and uh, word beads etc because I really like to play with that too and he here's another one this is not Christmas, but um, I added some diva and, uh, you know, bling. This actually was for a little dog, and you can see the paws up here. But just to give you some ideas, these are some other things you can do with just uh, scallop punches and little stickers that you don't know what to do. And this one is just, I love the, these little ones to put on thank you cards and so on. And this is the uh, gorgeous girl. I had her and I just put her in there and I put that, those beads on there. And then this is just a little girl and I made this little pink deer out of resin. And then I added, uh, I like the dangles. I added these pretty flowers and beads. If I can get it to stay straight there, you can see pretty. And you can you could make these flatter and put them in a journal and I'm going to figure out how to do that but I also like to make cards so that's all I have to show you for today and thanks for stopping by and I'll be back with some more videos soon <laughs>